2 Kings chapter 3 tells the story of three kings who came together to fight against the king of Moab. The three kings were Jehoram of Israel, Jehoshaphat of Judah, and the king of Edom. They led their armies to the wilderness of Edom, but they ran out of water for their troops and animals. In their desperation, they turned to the prophet Elisha for help. Listen to what it says in verses 15 to 17. The hand of the Lord came upon him, talking about Elisha, and he said, Thus says the Lord, Make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, You shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain, yet the valley shall be filled with water, so that you, your cattle, and your animals may drink. Elisha told them to dig ditches and promised that God would fill them with water for their troops and their animals. And the next day, just as the Lord had spoken to Elisha, God caused water to flow into the ditches. Now, if Elisha stopped there, the kings would have been happy. But he continues on in verse 18, basically telling them, you only asked for water and that's an easy thing for God to do. But in addition to that, He's also going to give you victory over the Moabites. They weren't even asking for that. They were only concerned with the needs of that day. But God sees the big picture. This story reminds us that when we're facing difficult situations, we can turn to God for help. And just as God provided water for the animals in the wilderness and for the troops, he can provide for us and our times of need. We may not always know how or when God will answer our prayers, but we can trust that he is with us and he hears our cries for help. And we can also be encouraged that even though our prayers can be somewhat short-sighted at times, God sees the big picture. And when we are obedient, he can bless us beyond what we even realize. I want to leave you with these encouraging words that Paul wrote in his prayer to the Ephesians in chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen.